Yeah, it's been a while. Do me a favor, guys. Don't don't turn off that TV and don't reach out for that remote control because you're gonna be watching me right now. And whoever's calling you from the kitchen, tell them to make you a cup of coffee and then bring it right up to you while you're sitting and watching my channel. Well, Trigger Buck uh, is uh, located right now on the 69 Turnpike, sitting down here in the old big cabin. <clears throat> Highway 69 and a big cabin in Oklahoma, I would say. Yep, yeah, Oklahoma. So, Sugar Daddy made it all the way down here. Uh, we got this big, junky, heavy load, and uh, we're going to be delivering this to Dallas, Texas. After all, this is uh, one of the great spots, actually. I remember once I was down here, uh, one of the things really attracted me is, really, it's really, really awesome, is this right in front of me where I'm looking at right now. Now, what does this remind you? Seriously, look at how beautiful that is. I mean, if you're looking at the sun and you do see that the sun is setting in, settling in, sorry about that, clouds right around it. You can see white, red, orange, blue, and a little bit of foggy, uh, fade, fade away clouds. And right in front of us, you can see a uh, very wide open all around it. I tell you what, if you wouldn't really know where I am, if I didn't tell you where I am, if I would tell you, hey guys, I just take a trip, I'm on, I am down in Africa. Or, at, or I would say maybe, not the Amazons in Brazil, but... Africa and as you can see the field wide open all the wild animals you'll see them running around chasing antelopes crocodiles wild dogs I hate those animals if you really type in Google uh, go to YouTube put down wild dogs I hate them they're brutal animals they look cute to keep them but they're not very cute what they do to these little animals, antelopes, they're ripping in pieces. I don't like it, but that's what it looks like here. Look how beautiful it is. I just wanted to come down and share it with you guys. Now, here's another thing I noticed that, that there was a sign back there. I wish I knew this was going to happen, but they told me, you're a lot to fish here. So, only for truck drivers you're allowed to fish so you need to get out there and fish so I'm gonna get out it is a bit cold oh smells good the air is fresh and the funny thing is when they mention that you can fish, it's funny because I want to see really if you can fish. Truthfully, I didn't really want to come down here and stop because I need to keep going. But then I changed my mind. I said, you know what, tomorrow's Sunday and I can do the rest of the driving Sunday because that way I could... Uh, enjoy my Sunday driving isn't that right or wrong so let's see if there is fish up here I don't see anything I just want to make sure that that truck doesn't roll down and and go into the lake. I don't know, I feel like driving, but then again, what's the rush? Because I will be going to deliver it Monday, so I'm cool with it. Now look at that sun, that's beautiful. That is one of the finest 
sunsets I have ever seen. Acres of acres of space land in front of us. Got this beautiful pond right here. The air is so fresh down here in Oklahoma. You got some goose hanging around there, but we don't have any uh, turkey posse. Got a beautiful little cabin sitting up there. And just sitting down here and watching the sun is very peaceful. That's why I said, guys, do not reach out that remote control and don't change the channel. Like I said, if anyone's calling you, say you're busy watching this video, and this is a magnificent shot. Now, what would one can be actually in my shoes right now and take a shot at this in Oklahoma, huh? Now one of the greatest things about us is we travel a lot and we don't look at it as work because if we think work and driving it will become a lot heavy on us and our minds and body. So we meditate, we focus on things like beautiful things such as this typical view and then this typical view down here and uh, some of the nice folks we meet over the road and they're very very nice with us. And they do understand that how struggling it is when a, when a single man just decides to drive all by himself, miles and miles and miles. And then I get to realize how much work we do. And we stand here and look at this beautiful sunset. Now right around me you can see pretty much nothing. There's nothing at all. Some trucks behind me parked. And I don't see any fish, but I'm assuming there is fish. I can't imagine what kind of fish, but once you catch the fish, who's gonna cook? Gonna have to put it in the freezer and keep it there. Once again, look at this beautiful sunset. I'm gonna have this photo taken. And all that goose down there, they're hanging around. They're watching the sunset too. They got a nice life. They're all hanging out together. Go on family. Always, always good to be with family. Young kids, don't ever think about you turn 18 just because you're 18, you can decide to leave. Never do that. Stay with your family. Family is very important. It's the foundation of the family. You don't want to crack the foundation nor break the foundation. And the whole thing will collapse. Every single member in the house will fall apart. Learn from the goose. How the life goose, the goose's life. Just want to make sure I don't want to step on poops because some of these guys have doggies. Well, Sun is settling down, I think. I'm gonna be resting myself. I do not want to continue anymore. I mean, I don't mind to continue, but maybe I should. Well, I'll just continue tomorrow, four more hours. That's a beautiful sunset. Hmm, it's gonna get dark. I think I should just remain here because there is a lot of space here to park. And God knows when you travel to another 100 miles and then you get to the next truck stop and you're gonna have a hard time parking the truck and that will become an issue that's what scares me a little bit at least here I'll take a ride in and take a look and see I might get some hot meal and crash at night and go to sleep there goes the sunset I just wanted to share with you all I got in touch with Troy and uh, he's struggling a lot they're getting pounded with heavy snow uh, New York's getting hit uh, New York State is getting hit a lot of snow 
I'm glad that I pretty much escaped at the time when the snow was arriving over the weekend, next couple of days. So I did really got lucky and took off. And now I'm here in a dry land and I'm pretty much enjoying what I see here. Guys, I wanna say thank you, really thank you. I hope you enjoy this beautiful sunset. This was a beautiful moment that I'm sharing with you guys. I wanna say thank you, please subscribe. Just click that link on the bottom. Don't be afraid. Join us. And there's a lot to learn. Don't forget to subscribe off the grid. There's a lot to learn there too. And all the rest, join. Thank you. Have a great day, nice evening. Now you can take that remote control and go ahead and change your channel because I'm done. Get you guys in the morning. Let's see what's it like tomorrow morning because the sun will set there and the sun will come up from back there. Have a great guys night. I love you all and hugs and kisses to everyone. Good night.